Oh, gosh, didn't see. The real reflection of you. The saying goes, it's always darkest before the dawn. It's dawn. What do I mean by that? Well, it's like literally dawn. <laughs> but that aside, I'm, I don't know, man. I'm excited for life right now. More excited than I've ever been before. And you guys are probably like, well, it doesn't really sound like from your voice. Well, it's 5.30 in the morning. And I feel it inside. It's that feeling of knowingness. It's that feeling of seeing my vision becoming a reality. In some senses, I feel like I've been waiting for this day my whole life. In the sense that every single thing that I've done in my life to date has brought me to this moment right now as I speak to you. And that's so wild to me. The, the rides that I've taken myself on and the rides that life has taken me on as well. It's one thing for me to think that I'm so high and mighty and great that I've created this life for myself. Yet at the same time, this life has also created this for me. They're both simultaneously true and untrue. I'm excited though because my vision is realizing. I'm beginning to find the real eyes to realize the real lies. And I love all of this. <coughs> this is me being real. This is me not holding back. One of the things that I, I looked back at my why today, earlier. I have a few like, what's my why for doing what I do? And I added another one to it. And the last one, or the most recent one that I added, or what's my reason for being raison d'etat. Shout out to Eco R1 Capital for introducing me to this concept. Reason for being to die peacefully. One of my mentors, Arash Sapar Deepzar, talks about this concept of how important it is to be an acceptance of your death. Or in other words, at the moment of death, when you're just about to, your life is just about to end, what is that moment like? What are you doing? What is that moment like? How do you want to approach death? And how does death respond to you? And I've been finding more and more that for me personally, at this moment in time, I just want to look death straight in the eyes. Get all cool, calm, and collected in the body, relaxed. You just look at it. I want death to be afraid of me. Because of how calm and relaxed I am as I enter it. And why would it be so calm and relaxed? How does that make sense? Because 
I left everything in life. Every interaction I had was as it ought to be. Every moment I made with the others around me was exactly as it was ought to be. And I lived, and I live, and I will live. For I know my story is not an ordinary story. And so when death comes around, whenever he or she may beckon, and we meet each other face to face, I want death to look at me and be afraid of how much life I lived. I want death to be afraid and almost proud of who I was, who I am, and who I will be. So when I look at death, and when I approach it every day, I want death to be afraid of me. Keep up, thrive, and stay sexy.